despite all in this video, we are going to learn about the aerometric operators and the cement header file. A um, little bit about the cement header file. Operators in mathematics, usually we will have plus, minus, multiply, and divide. That is the most common one. But in C++, um, the multiply and divide operators is not this. Okay? Plus and minus maintained. The multiplier, we use asterisk. This is the symbol for asterisk. And the divide, we change to slash. Please remember this. So beside this, the commonly used one is um, modulus. This is something new for you, which is called remainder. If you want to find a remainder after you divide some um, value or a value, then we use this symbol, percentage symbol. So A percentage B means A modulus B, you will get the remainder. And next one, you will learn about the C++ operator for increment and decrement. Once you found double symbol of plus and double symbol of minus, means that plus represent increment by one minus mean decrease by one so there are two ways to do that one is in front of the variable that you declare another one is after the variable that you declare so if you apply plus plus number increment of number it means that we increase the particular value of a variable first by one before other operations should be performed but then if if you apply number plus plus means that after the particular operations, then only we will sum the number, okay? Um, not sum, increase the number itself. We will try an example later on to further understand how it works. Next is about the CMESH library. If possible, please go through the C++ website to um, check about the CMESH library. There are a lot of uh, functions inside and I only will introduce a few commonly used uh, libraries, uh, sorry, functions. The first one is power. Let's say 2 power of 3, 2 power of 5, 3 power of 6. Okay, we use the power functions called POW. Call POW, follow with the index and the power number. Okay, and then the second one is square root. Square root any numbers. So the function is called SQRT, square root. And then the number or the value, put it inside the parentheses. Okay, follow with the semicolon. And then we also have others like sin, cos, tangent, and log. But when you apply these four functions, please remember that all of the value x in radians. All of the value x is in radians, not in degree. So you have to first convert to radian before you apply it. I hope this is clear. And then we have ABS, absolute value, means that if we change all negative value to positive value, we call it ABS function. I've prepared an example for you. In this program, I have included the CMAT library at first, although I didn't use it. Okay, I include it first, and then um, I declare a variable A as 4. I assign 4 into this variable, and then assign 5 into this variable B, and declare both A and B as integer. Next, I see out, I display the value A plus B, which is 4 plus 5, and then A minus B, 4 minus 5, A multiply with B, using the symbol asterisk and then a divided by b using this symbol find the remaining using this percent symbol and then we try to find the power value of a power 5 oh, sorry a power b we find the square root of b and so on let's see the results so a plus b equal to 9 correct a minus b equal to negative 1 correct a multiplied b which is 20 4 times 5 20 correct and then a divided by b is 0. a is 4 divided by 5 shouldn't be 0, it should be 0 0.8. Later on, we improve this. a modulus b is 4, this is correct. And then a power by b is 1, or 2, 4. Uh, this is correct. And then square root of b is 2, square root of 5, which is 2.23607. This is correct. Okay, one mistake over here, which is a divided by b is 0. We declare a is integer, b is integer. When we divide it, we cannot get um, the decimal point. Right, we have to somehow convert it. This is what we call cast, C A S T, cast. Uh, I don't change it here. I don't declare any variable, but I want to do it fast. So what can I do is, I apply it here. A divided by B. So over here, I cast it using float. I know that A is integer divided by B is integer, but the results of A divided by B should be zero point eight, which is a float number or double number. So in front of that of these equations, I put float. Okay, casting it and compile and run, you should get the correct answer. Yep. Okay, now a divided by b, 
a divided by b, which is 0 0.8, because of float, I cover it, and it will display the results. I have prepared an example about the increment and decrements. So in this example, I first declare integer a with 4. Okay, 4 assigned to a. And then we apply a++. plus plus. We increase by one value. We see out. We minus one value. We see out. And then again, increase, see out, decrease, see out. So let's guess what is the value. Let's guess what is the value or output. All right. Let us compare and explain from the code. It shows that A is 4, 4 plus plus. So in this case, C out is 5, which is correct. And then go to this line, A minus minus, 5 minus minus or minus 1, which means 4. So when we go here, it shows it is 4. And then plus plus 4, which is 4 plus 1 become 5. Next, we display, which is 5. All right. And lastly, minus minus 1, uh, sorry, minus minus a, which is minus minus 5. We display minus minus a as 4. So in this case, it is very clear. It is very clear and you cannot see the difference between a plus plus and plus plus a because the operation is individually done in one expression, in one expression or in one line. So when this 4 go over here, it will change to 4 plus plus. We imagine it will change to 4 plus plus. So what will happen is 4 plus plus will become 5. That's why it shows here as 5. So this process is repeat until the rest. Okay, and then you cannot see the difference. Now what will happen if these equations, we combine it with the C out. We combine it with the C out. Let's see. This one, I put it as comment so that we remove it and plus plus. Minus, minus, plus, plus, and minus, minus. Exactly as in the message. We found that the result is different. Result is different. So what will be happens? Compile and run. You will found that basically this answer is no more, no more 5. A plus plus is no more 5. It is 4. Why? 4 when passed to here, these equations, it is 4 plus plus. So what happened is the compiler will do the C out first to display 4. Then after the C out is done, it will show plus plus. It will do um, the process after because it is this double sign plus double plus signs is back of A. So it means that you first do my works to display, then only you add on, add by one. So this is what happening. That's why the result is 4. Okay, but actual result is after A++, it should be 5. So now we go to the second line. See out A minus minus. A, A minus minus. So A minus minus is now 5. It's now 5. It is not 4. It is 5. Because we said we haven't deducted. it. We have to first display 5. Then only we deduct it. So the answer is 5. But after we apply this A minus minus, it should be back to 4. It should be back to 4. And then next, when we see out plus plus a, just now is 4. From here, a minus 9 is 4. 4 with plus plus first, then only we um, show it, we display it. So in this case, plus plus a become 5. Plus plus a become 5. Because we add first, we increase the value before we see out. So now it becomes 5. And then when we go to the last line, line 17, minus minus a. Here is 5. Minus 1 is 4. So this output is 4. So this is how it works Okay, for increment and decrement. And when you apply it, you have to first remember how to apply it. Outside of an equation individually, or you combine them with other operations. If that is the case, then you have to refer to this example. Okay, And then you also can go for Google, um, search for precedence, C++ precedences, to see the hierarchical of which operations we go first. I hope this video will help you to further understand about the increment and decrement.